Hey guys, it's Miss Casillas. Today we are going to be going over comparing real numbers. So we're just going to be looking at two numbers at a time and deciding which one is larger, which one is smaller, or maybe they will be equal. So first thing we need to do is review our inequality signs. So let's start with this one right here. This symbol is our less than symbol. So it says fill in the blank with a value that makes the statement true. So if I have nine and this symbol in front of it, that means I want something smaller than nine right here. So there's lots of things that are smaller than nine. An example would be seven is less than nine. So with your less than symbol, you have a smaller number on the left and you have a larger number on the right. And if you want to get super elementary about it, you can remember that the alligator wants to eat the larger number. Okay, our next symbol is this one right here, which is the greater than symbol. So it says fill in the blank with a value that makes the statement true. And I need something that is larger than negative 9. So since this is a negative number, I know anything positive, such as positive 2, will be greater than that. So with our greater than symbol, our larger number is on the right, and the smaller number is on the left. And again, you want to remember the alligator wants to eat the larger number. Okay, then equal to. This is just where it is the same number on both sides. You might be asking yourself, well, why would we be looking at two numbers that are the same? Um, here is an example. If we have 0 0.5, another way to write that is 1 half. Okay, so now let's practice some of this. They want us to compare the following values by placing the correct inequality sign or equal sign in the box. So first thing that I'm going to need to do is convert these numbers into something that is easier to compare them. This is an irrational number with pi. This is scientific notation. It's really hard to gauge which number is bigger or smaller. So I'm going to convert to decimals using the Desmos calculator to the right over here. So I'm going to do 20 times pi is 3.14 and I get 62.8. So 20 pi is equivalent to 62.8. And then this number is in scientific notation right here. I have a positive 2 exponent. So I'm going to move the decimal to the right 2. And I get 627.8. So obviously this number is larger. So I am going to put the less than sign there because 62.8 is less than 627.8. That is how that statement would read. All right, let's look at another one. Negative 20.1, I don't need to change that. That's already in decimal form. Negative 41 divided by two though. Divided by two. I get negative 20.5. Okay, and remember, negative numbers are a little bit backwards. They are backwards. Um, this right here is the larger number because it is closer to zero. This is the smaller number because it is more negative. I would rather owe someone $20.10 than owing them $20.50. That's another way you can think of it. So since this is larger, I'm going to put the greater than sign there. And it would read negative 20.1 is greater than negative 41 over 2. Okay, number three, I have 0 0.27 repeating, and then let's see what three divided by 11 is. It is obviously two seven repeating as well, so these are going to be equal here. 
Okay, negative 61%. Remember, I need to divide by 100. And that would be 61, oops, 61 divided by 100 is 0 0.61. You can also just move the decimal back twice. And then negative 7 over 9, I need to convert that. And I get negative 0 0.7 repeating, so I'm going to round that to negative 7.8, and I forgot to put the negative sign here. Okay, so it's kind of like the one above it. Um, think about which one is going to be larger and which one's going to be smaller. This one is closer to zero. It is less negative, so that is the larger number. And then this one is more negative, so that is the smaller number. So my greater than symbol will go there. So we would say negative 61% is greater than negative 7 ninths. Okay, we have some fractions over here. You need to be careful how you type them into the calculator, especially this one right here. So let's start with pi divided by 4. It will be 3.14 divided by 4. 3.14 divided by 4. Didn't catch that. 0 0.785. Okay, then this right here, we need to be super careful about how we type it into the calculator. 3 times the square root of 2 is in the numerator, and 4 is the only thing in the denominator. So make sure it looks like that when you type it in. I'm going to do 3 square root of 2 and then arrow out because the 4 is not under the square root sign and then I'm going to divide by 4. So make sure you're hitting the arrow out key and I get 1.06. So then it's super easy since they're both decimals I can tell that pi over 4 is the smaller one and 3 times the square root of 2 divided by 4 is the larger one. So I'm going to have the less than symbol. And that statement would read pi over 4 is less than 3 square root of 2 divided by 4. Okay, another one. I need to convert both of these. The square root of 9d is 9.49. That's what that would round to. 9.49. And then negative 1 means I'm going to move my decimal backwards 1. So I'd get 0 0.9502. Now that they're in decimals, it's super easy to tell. This is the larger number. And 0 0.9502 is the smaller number. So I would have the greater than symbol there. So it would read square root of 90 is greater than 9.502 times 10 to the negative 1. Okay, now we're going to have some application problems. It says, it took James six and two-sevenths minutes to run a mile, and it took Josie 6.15 minutes to run a mile. Who ran the fastest mile? So Josie's time is super easy to read. Let's convert James' time to a decimal. So to put a mixed number in here, you need to do six plus, and then put the fraction in. So James' time was 6.29 minutes. That's what it would round to. And fastest, that is going to be the person that had the lowest time. So that would be Josie. Josie ran the fastest mile. Okay, let's look at number eight. 
Pam's banana bread recipe uses 3.35 cups of sugar, while Jim's banana bread recipe uses 3 and 3 eighths cups of sugar. Who uses the largest amount of sugar? So Pam's is super easy to see. It is already in decimal form. Let's convert Jim's amount of sugar. So we need to do 3 plus 3 eighths. And he used 3.375. So this one is really close. Pam used 3.35, Jim used 3.375. So Jim barely used a little bit more. So this one would be Jim. Okay, and then last thing, how explain how to compare real numbers in your own words. So basically we convert the numbers two decimals and determine which number is larger or smaller. And then that helps you figure out which inequality sign to use.